Hi gorgeous! Today I am reviewing one of those concealers that has come onto the market claiming to be crease proof and has this brand new technology that molds to your skin and is not like a traditional concealer. <clears throat> Really? The one I'm talking about is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This retails for $18 for a pretty nice sized jar of concealer. I'm gonna be putting it to the test. I'll show you the application with it, and I've also included a wear test at the end of the video. And I will let you know, are they blowing a bunch of fluff up our butt, or are they telling the truth? Okay, so I already have my foundation, eyes, all of that done. We're just waiting on the concealer application. But before I show you that, I wanted to read to you what their website says about this concealer. It says that a traditional concealer sets to a stiff, flat, dry finish, but this one has something called elastic micro waxes that move with your face instead of caking on top of it. And it has nourishing oils that give the skin a dewy, glowing finish. Hmm. And they tell you to apply it on the package. Use fingertip to press and blend into moisturized skin. It's buildable. Add more for extra coverage. And this is supposed to cover dark circles, blemishes, redness, etc., etc. Comes in a cute little package. Looks like that. And I have not opened it yet, so we are experiencing this together for the first time. Okay, a little jar. And. Voila, okay, so it is as I would have expected it to be, more of a cream-based product, it looks like. Shade that I'm using here, by the way, is light number 10. I'm gonna use my ring finger here to warm up the product a little bit. And starting with a small amount, I'm gonna do just like they say. Uh-huh. I don't know what to think just yet. I am simply being a member of the audience like yourself right now. Hmm. That's one layer. Um, I usually like a little bit more coverage than that, so I'm gonna go in with a, another layer of the concealer and tap that along the top of the first layer. Looks like it's a rather sheer coverage I like that it's buildable. It'll be interesting to see how buildable it is without looking cakey on the skin. Sometimes if you have too much applied, it can start to look rather unattractive. I'm hoping that's not the case here. So far, so good. That's the second layer. And you can see how quickly it blends in. It's not taking a lot of effort or time to get it to sink into the skin. I'm gonna stick with two layers on this eye and we'll try three layers on this eye. I want to see if the amount of layers that you apply affects the longevity of the product. Because sometimes the more you apply, the less time it lasts. You hope that all of the marketing claims that they're making about it are true. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. But you never know till you experiment, right? Now the only thing I don't really care for with this concealer, and this is a personal choice for everyone, is the fact that it comes in a jar. I find this to be rather unsanitary, personally. I just don't like to stick my fingers into things. I personally would probably spray this with alcohol after I use it each time before closing it up, just to ensure there wasn't any bacterial growth in the container. Is it just me or do you feel the same way? I'm just curious how many people are, <laughs> have the same hang up that I do. Now the coverage is beautiful. It did conceal my purple under eye circles, which is really awesome because usually when I wear a purple eyeshadow look like I am today, I have to apply a color corrector under my eyes because I have purple under eye circles and the purple up here will accentuate it more down here. I did not apply a color corrector underneath this concealer beforehand. And to see the coverage that I got, despite not doing that is, Pretty amazing, I'm very happy to see that. Now they do say that you can either set this with a powder if you want a matte finish, or you can leave it as is. To me it's rather shiny, isn't it? If I don't set it, so I feel like I need to set it. I need to set it because if I don't set it, I'm gonna be oil city here in about two hours. So to do that, I am using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Powder, which I have a big dent in because I love it. But it really does look like skin. It's not caked on 
and it looks very natural. I love the finish, especially with the powder applied. I wasn't too fond of it without the powder, but I really like how it looks now. Usually when I'm testing a makeup product for wear time, I use eight hours as a standard method. And that was what I did with the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This is what my under eye area looked like at the end of those eight hours. Now, if you look closely on the side where I had applied three layers, you can see that it's caked up, doesn't look natural, nor does it look like skin. And I was very unimpressed with these results. Now, if you look to the side where I had only applied two layers of the concealer, it was starting to wear away and my purple under eye circles were beginning to peek through. Now it didn't crease as badly as some other concealers that I've used in the past, but there still was settling into fine lines and creases that I did not personally care for. So for this concealer, I am calling bull. It's all a bunch of marketing jazz, don't listen to it. If you are looking for concealers that will not crease under the eyes and that have been tested out by yours truly. These are ones that I absolutely love and I cannot recommend enough. Check out Tarte's Shape Tape Concealer, Max Pro Longwear Concealer, the NYX Gotcha Covered Waterproof Concealer, Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and the Number 7 Radiant Glow Concealer. Every single one of these come in at varying price points, but each one of them deliver quality results that last well throughout the day. Let me know if you've tried out the Glossier Stretch Concealer, and if you've had a different experience with it, you're always welcome to share that below as well. And by the same token, if you have a crease-proof concealer that you have discovered, high-end or drugstore, please feel free to share it in the comments below as well. I'm sure it will help many others out also. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe for more video reviews like this in the future, and I look forward to seeing you again next time.